There's a boat, a speed boat coming through on Lake Tahoe, but I just want to show you guys the Rubicon Trail descends down on the Lake Tahoe. There's cliffs, no doubt about it. You roll down there, and you're going to break your snap your neck and die. Um, it's easy to slip off. You have to pay attention. You know, people say, hey, he's got black nails. You know what, man? So does Rob Zombie, Ozzy Osbourne, all the rock stars do. So what, what's your point? But anyways, just joking around, a little satire. We're on the Rubicon Trail, and it and it's different than the Lighthouse Trail. The Lighthouse Trail climbed through the Alpine Forest. There was a lot of underbrush and a lot of big rocks placed there by glacier activity, which was very active in Lake Tahoe, obviously, because it carved 1,600 feet into the, and made a valley or a basin, and then when the water melted, it created, this is it, no, oh, yeah, Rubicon Trail, but hey, we want to go that way on the Rubicon. I know, but I'm saying we have to go that way towards Emerald Point. This is going towards Lighthouse, Lighthouse Point. I'll show you. Anyways, I'm out here. Here, a helicopter. They're looking for me. Just kidding. Anyhow, we're heading south on the Rubicon Trail. We finally got our bearings. A nice hole that was drilled into the rock. There were miners here searching for gold. Maybe taking core samples, I don't know. There was some gold and silver. Not as substantial as the Comstock mines. Wow. Rubicon Trail is rugged. It's carved out. It kind of rims around Tahoe right now. Difference, folks, between this, the Lighthouse Trail, and the Rubicon. The Rubicon goes north and south, probably for about six miles in total, or six miles worth of trails. But uh, went from the Lighthouse Trail to the Rubicon Trail, going south, not north. We don't need to go to Lighthouse Point. We already got pictures of the lighthouse and video footage. But um, very scenic, very mountainous. It's very, it feels very remote. You can hear the birds, see the lizards. You have the same type of brush. The difference between the Lighthouse Trail and the Rubicon Trail is on this trail, you can fall off and roll down in the brush and get cut up bad, man, or stabbed by, those type of branches don't break, they'll stab you in the ribs. They stab your liver, you're dead. You gotta understand that these videos I put out are for your safety. Do not try this at home. I mean, if you're going to hike, because I know people fall off the trails, but if you're going to hike, stay on the fucking trail. No, I'm not trying to be mean or nothing. I'm just saying. There are, the, the, the way this is, is this type of brush, we had to go through 300 feet of it. My legs were bleeding. So, because we had actually hiked in the wilderness over at a place called Coal Creek. Hiked in the Muck Alumni Wilderness. There's a deep canyon. It's like a mini Grand Canyon where the Muck Alumni River runs. And we stood on top of that looking down at Salt Springs Reservoir. I seen a Bigfoot and heard a Bigfoot. Got Bigfoot tracks in that region. We get lots of reports in from local hikers and runners. Hi. Oh. That train call over there. Where? No, that's the cave rock. Yeah. Oh, and one more thing, folks. That's cave rock. I stood on top of there. Right up on top. That Those cliffs right there. I stood on top looking down. And there's also the cave of the white lady or white maiden. A Washoe legend. I don't know if it's about her ghosts or where life derived from, but the cave is very sacred. It may have been deeper at one time. It's very large. More hikers. Anyways, I gotta get out of here. It's more hikers. Don't want to film them. So we're hiking on the Rubicon Trail. 
And I just wanted to point out something. Now, now Tammy says she thought she'd seen an article where someone went missing or was found dead here. I know in Kings Canyon they found a skeleton closer to the Spooner Lake, which is at Spooner Summit. Spooner Summit overshadows Kings Canyon, but we were up and through the Sierras at the Tahoe Rim looking for Bigfoot. But I looked up, there's somebody's got a missing page about people missing in Carson City or Douglas County or Carson really is its own estate, Carson City. But a lot of people have gone into these type of wildernesses and never were seen again. Now, there was a death online of an explorer I knew and, you know, rest in peace, but he was just driving down a logging road and went off. So you can see, see how steep it is? You could, you could go right off that and keep rolling, hit a branch, snap your neck. So you want to make sure that you have good footing. Like when you step down on these rocks, you don't want to stub your toe and trip and hit your head face first on a rock. Then you get a concussion. You know, but people always like my videos because I always show safety tips too. This is eroded. Do you see this? It's all eroded. Don't ever put your feet near there. Stay, hug the mountain to the right. Too many people fall, too many accidents happen. They lie dead in a bush, turn skeletal, or get dragged off by a mountain lion or a bear. They don't find the skeletons for three, four years. By then they can't identify it. Skeletons had sun damage, no DNA. So, but anyway, someone runs a website. 32 people in this region, I think, hiked and went missing. I think one or two skeletons have been found. So, people do fall and die. Maybe they disappear. I've seen UFOs out here, man. Two weeks ago, I seen UFOs. I swear it on my boys, I swear it on my life. I know what I seen. That was a UFO, a ship, and it flew off. It just dimmed off and flew off. It gave more light than the sun. It almost hurt to look at. Just amazing what this area offers. But these steps, she's right. Look, look how big these steps are compared to your knees. Look, they go up to your knees, don't they? Yes. Wow. Steps for a giant. All right, I'm out of here, folks. You get the idea. Rubicon Trail is a lot of up, a lot of down, a lot of up, a lot of down. It's not the worst hike, though. I mean, like I said, there are some cliffs and drop-offs. When I get to some cliffs, I'll film them. This is all brush. You could still hit your head on that and slip under the log and not be seen for days. So, you, you know, always hike with a partner. That's my hiking partner. That's Tammy. <laughs> Purple hair almost, yeah. Okay, anyways, I gave you guys some safety tips. I hope you use them. Want to keep you, the students and the young kids, athletic by hiking and help people lose weight, you know, so they're not diabetic or have any diabetes problems. Can actually have stronger veins. Just a good, good six mile hike. Even if it takes you all day, exercise is very relevant. Anyways, I gotta go. Peace. And I love all our support we're getting. Sometimes two, three thousand hits a day on our channel. Oh, you guys are awesome.